welcome back everybody so before we get into this video if you're into home brewing and craft beer make sure you hit that subscribe button and then click that bell icon so you get notifications uh, when I release a new video new video about home brewing or craft beer out every single day so getting into this one this is my fourth beer in my two hop series featuring Cascade and Centennial if you haven't, I would go back and look at the playlist for this. I think it's up to 85, 90 um, videos um, all about beers that feature two hops. Um, this is the first series that I started. Uh, this is beer number four. So uh, all small batches, 1.25 gallons going into the carboy. Uh, this one is using uh, two pounds, four ounces of two row, then four ounces of cherry wood smoked malt. Um, we started out with the base beers one and two were just two row with the hops and then uh, beers three four five we added some malts changed some yeast and all that so uh, this one for uh, our boil this is using 0.25 ounces of cascade at 60.25 ounces of centennial at 10 0.25 ounces of Cascade at five, then 0.25 ounces of each three days into fermentation for dry hop. USO5 yeast was used on this. Uh, bottled on 829, six bricks, 7.12% ABV. Let's go ahead and open this, get it into a glass. This is using the large ferment or the large carbonation tablets. Uh, I wanted to see uh, a lot of people bash them. Yeah, they're not very accurate, but I wanted to see uh, what they would be like, how long they take to carb, uh, how long do they last, do we get bottle bombs. Uh, so far, I think I've only had two two different beers using the larger tablets that have produced, um, I wouldn't say gushers, but when you open it, it starts uh, foaming up. So let's go ahead and get this into the glass, see what we think about it now. There we go. I do not watch the videos that I made before um before i do uh, a new review just so we go in kind of blind and only remembering what i remember about this um so this one what i remembered i wanted like a smoky cherry flavor i was almost thinking um like if you're smoking uh some kind of meat and you use uh cherry wood um you are going to get a little fruitiness and that's what i was trying to bring out with the um, centennial and cascade producing floral and citrus um, to see if i could get some fruitiness i wasn't really looking for the cherry i didn't think uh, you could get the cherry, but just a little like woody smokiness but fruit um, is what I was looking for. So because this beer is um, almost seven months old, I'm hoping that cherry wood smoked has come out a little bit more. I'm not a huge smoked uh, beer uh, fan because the first one I ever had was way overdone um, but uh, yeah just making beer to see what we can make um, uh, white had almost all small bubbles I do have a couple but that head is fading quick about a quarter finger of head for the color um, it is yellow um, a little hazy uh, I would say it is a little hazier than like a chill haze lots of bubbles coming up I can see the outline of the light box but I cannot really see the bell sticker that's on the wall over there I would say if you watched on um, the third beer with the oats this one is a little bit hazier than that let's go ahead and smell like a, a sweet malt citrus. I really don't get floral. The floral could be mixing with that citrus, but from just smelling beer three, uh, it doesn't have that, that floral smell that that had and that I'm used to with the other um, Centennial Cascade beers. This one is more of a sweet malt, which you, you would expect from an older beer, but it does have that citrus smell. 
and that's about it. Maybe like a, a lemon citrus, very faint is all I get out of this. So let's go ahead and taste it. More malty, almost like if you use like a, a, a Crystal 40 um, or a Vienna malt, a, like a toasted bread quality, but just with the regular normal two row color. So I don't know if that breadiness is actually a little bit of wood kind of uh, a, a woodiness mixing with that malt. Um, I don't, I can't really say that you could get wood out of that grain, but it says cherry wood smoked malt. Um, it's not like it has pieces of wood in it, but it does seem like because that is, the two row is the only malt in here, Maybe that biscuit woodiness is from that kind of malt. Yeah, there's definitely like a, a malty, I wanna say wood, almost like not, not to the point of like a barrel aged beer, but almost like the taste you would get from a barrel aged sour with, without the oak just a, a generic wood maybe it's mixing with that floral to like an earthiness something like that in there well i'll have to remember this for my other beers that i put this uh cherry wood smoked malt in um because it's almost like it's covering up the up, up front taste like you get that that sweet malt woody biscuity vibe and then you get some citrus and then it's gone it doesn't have the bitterness as beer number three did at all and aftertaste is more i i guess you could say kind of earthy citrus to it very very smooth Carbonation level, I think, is good. I could drink it. If I, if I had a keg of it, I would drink it. Yeah, I'm going to go with almost like a woodiness. It's not like a, I want to say a bland wood. Um, it's not like, like I was saying, like a big barrel-aged oak um taste but it's it's like earthy woodsy um in, in the taste then it's more floral fl sweet floral citrus biscuit in the aftertaste yeah for all the bubbles that are coming up it's pretty smooth. It's not scraping my tongue at all. Uh, sometimes, you know, if you get an overcarb beer, um, it's popping and stuff, and you sometimes you don't get the taste until about the middle of the palate. Um, maybe that that cherry smoked wood has taken down the bitterness some, because I'm surprised. Uh, most of these older beers that use Centennial Cascade, uh, the the bitterness is turned up after you know, five, six months, and this does not have it, no alcohol at all. Um, so, yeah, solid beer, in my opinion. Yeah, no alcohol taste at all. So, yeah, I again, I think this is another winner to uh, let age a little bit more and not drink it fresh. Uh, but that's just my opinion. I, I think if you're into home brewing, you should be doing stuff like this, especially if you're new. Uh, make these small batches, let a bottle of it sit for a while, and then uh, come back and taste it. Uh, in beer number three, I said that would probably uh, be the last uh, review because I thought it would go downhill a lot. 
but um, I think I have one bottle left of each of these, so I will save them um, and do another review in a couple months just to see uh, how it's going. But yeah, solid beer. So if you have any questions, leave them below. If you like this review, check some more homebrew videos out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.